Okay, guys. I'm excited to get into the show, so let's get it, honey. Let's go. Okay. Well, T Hive is live. I'm live, and I'm glad that today is popping. Honey, I don't want to hear nothing about my hair but good things. Because I know y'all shady. All right, Hive, let's get into the hashtag of the day. And it is this word right here. So anytime you hear me say this word, honey, start to sip it and drink it. Because you know what? It's time to get lit. All right, let's get into it. It's time for Toxic Topic. Yes. Okay, first of all, Kanye West is once again been spotted wearing this hat, this Donald Trump Make America Great Again hat with a white Colin Kaepernick sweatshirt, Colin Kaepernick sweatshirt, okay? And on Thursday, he had a preview party for his upcoming album called Yandi, which is actually set to be released on Saturday. Let me say something. Just because uh, he wears this Make America Great Again in support of Donald Trump hat with a very controversial uh, sweater for him to wear a Colin Kaepernick sweater. But anyway, that doesn't mean that the man doesn't make great music. I mean, are you down to listen or not? I definitely still will be putting an ear to the mic. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyways, so it's going to be released tomorrow, which is Saturday, September 29th, 2018. Whoop whoop to all the Libras in the house because my birthday is October 12th and y'all know it's going down. By the way, I cannot wait to go live with you guys at Knox Scary Farm on Halloween. I plan on having an absolute ball. But let's jump back into Kanye. Kanye West actually has an explanation for wearing this hat that is considered a Donald Trump hat. I mean, come on. This is the same hat that Donald Trump wore in 2000 and what, 15, 16, when he was actually campaigning to be president. Come on now. So from his perspective, he says that him wearing this piece is a sign of equality, trying to bring people together. Okay, this is not him wearing something to be controversial for any other reason than that he wants to bring all people together, even him. And he has seen a new light and he believes that wearing these combination of clothing is a statement, not just a fashion statement, but a political statement as well. Well, I'm going to give you guys my really quick theory on it. I'm sorry, Kanye. I love you, but your antics are all too time consuming. Not only that, but they are just in the nick of time. So happens that you go back to wearing that red hat and white sweatshirt when your album is about to be released. Hey, Kanye West is a media genius who deals with media geniuses. So, of course, he knows that the media is full of BS right now. And nine times out of ten, they want to make controversy around their albums, which Kanye West is clearly succeeding at doing. Let's move on, child. Taraji P. Henson, she actually was left shocked and stunned. Now, first of all, I wonder how far is too far, okay, with these fans? How far is too far? This man, not a woman, an actual man, actually placed his hand on the beautiful skin of our Taraji P. Henson child. He actually hit her with force in order to get her attention. Now, listen, guys. We all are fans of the beautiful Taraji B. Henson. But you don't ever reach out and touch the queen like that, okay? She might go cookie on that ass. All right. She tweeted out this tweet today asking if she should get some revenge on this man. And a lot of the viewers were like, go ahead and give that man a two-piece combo with a biscuit. Well, I'm going to tell you guys what I would have done, honey. I would have had a field day, honey, in the boxing ring with this man. When I say ring, I just mean street. <laughs> Let's move on. Birdman is under investigation once again. Birdman, what is really going on? Well, it's actually nothing really new, but the story does make me feel pretty bad for Tony Braxton. So let's get into it. First of all, Birdman is under investigation for the shooting into Lil Wayne's tour bus that happened back in 2015. A DA out of the Cobb County has confirmed that they are looking for the guy who used to do business with Lil Wayne 
and that considered him his son at one point. Now this is a very sad story to me. I remember when I was a kid, I used to be walking around Pasadena and people used to tell me about how this person was there and they saw Lil Wayne over on uh, Old Block and all this other stuff. And, and now these people are breaking apart like what happened to the crew, okay? And when the hell, anyway, let me move on. So, child, okay? Wayne was pulling, okay, first of all, child, first of all, child, first of all, you don't turn an argument over damn business into you shooting into somebody's damn uh, tour bus. Let me just say that first of all, I just wanted to put that out there. But anyway, Wayne was pulling away from the club when this thing happened, and at the time, Birdman and Lil Wayne had this really super duper huge epic beef. Now, they have been beefing for a very long time, mind you. Lil Wayne has been trying to release the Car 5 for about six freaking years. So this thing has been going on and on and on. God, get over it already. Which they have, thank goodness. Either way, um, you know, they were beefing over monies from the label, rights, and different things of that nature. The person who actually did do the shooting, his name is Jeremy Carlton Winfrey. And this person pled guilty to six out of 27 charges in regards and connection to the shooting. Six out of 27 charges. How the fuck much did Birdman have to pay you to get you to, to pretty much ruin your life for the rest of your life? I mean, he had to pay off your mama's mortgage or something to get you to do this for him. And you know how we know that he actually did this for Birdman and this is why they're investigating Birdman? Because at the time of the shooting, he actually had Birdman's cell phone on his person. This man pled guilty to those six charges and child, he was sentenced to 20 years. Now, if he was sentenced to 20 years, what is going to happen with Birdman and Tony Braxton once this investigation is done? Because I tell you this, he definitely has something to do with it. Alright guys, let's get into it since we're talking about Lil Wayne. Reginate Carter recently was speaking to TMZ. I'm going to leave a link down below so that you guys can view that video. But Reginate is so ecstatic for her father to be moving on in the wake of all that's been going on with him. First of all, Birdman, Lil Wayne has had so many serious health issues. I mean, the man has been having seizures. Why would you be sending him through any more stress other than the stress he's already been put under? Birdman, you are a savage soul. Also, um, she spoke to TMZ, as I said, and she said that she has been listening to her father's album nonstop. Like I said, you guys, he had to fight for six freaking years just to put this album out. And that is a very long time. But guess what? I'm glad he put it out because all this, this drama around it was unnecessary in the first place this man has been struggling with his health and he, he this is making him happy he's been needing to do things that make him happy regardless because he's sick i'm just saying anyway she says she's happy that this is absolutely over not to mention that resonate carter actually does feature on track 11 of this album on a song called famous so, of course, she is happy that it's over. She's actually an artist now because she's been featured on her father's album. Well, shoot. Kudos to you, Wayne, and kudos to you, Reginate Carter, you little upcoming artist, you. All right, let's get into our final top topic, and child, I'm going to tell you, it is a doozy, okay? Now... The Zosiac Beerman clan is known for altering their image, but they have stunned and shocked the public once again with the all-time alteration of all times. Yes, Kim Zosiac and Brielle Beerman posted the same picture up side by side. However, Kim Zosiac's version of this picture happened to be slightly different. If you take a really close look into the behind portion of this little baby girl, this has been altered. Not only that, but the nose has been shortened to make the baby's nose look a little bit more pinched. I'm going to say she got some future goals for baby Kaya. All right, well, fans noticed it on Instagram and definitely started roasting her, okay? They're trying to basically get this woman off of TV at this point. People are shocked, okay, down to the core and shook it, child. Anyways, since then, Rio Beerman has deleted her copy of this post 
off of Instagram and I guess she gonna try to pretend like her mother's copy was the actual copy. Who knows? All I gotta say is, ladies, if you want to alter your body, that's fine, but don't go after the kids. All right, let's get into sports really quickly. And we're going to be talking about Shaq and Shawnee O'Neal's son, Sharif O'Neal, who is going to be undergoing heart surgery. He recently made a statement that he could not play at UCLA the next season due to an issue with his heart, but that he would return as soon as as he could what's sad about this thing you guys is that this man is just now hitting the peak of his adulthood and his career little Sharif is only 18 years old and so to have a problem with your heart I can just imagine what kind of shock honey that uh that is Shaq and Shawnee you're in child I will fall the hell out so I mean I'm just saying Anyways, he is only 18 years old, as I said, and he had no idea anything was even wrong with him. Sharif actually was going to UCLA's doctors for an annual routine checkup when the doctor spotted something wrong with his heart and told him that it's so severe that it needs to be handled ASAP, okay? Um, you know, this is a routine checkup, and we all go in for routine checkups. So for him to go in for a routine checkup and then find something out, like something actually is really severely wrong with him, and that surgery is an, an inevitable thing for him to live, honey, I am just, ooh, child of shock in my soul, honey, okay? Anyways, he also thanked God for UCLA doctors for them finding it early enough to save his life. He says that he will not be recovering and sitting out of school. While he is in rehab, he will still be a normal student and going to his classes as well as participating as much as he can in physical activities. He did seem very lighthearted about it, saying that he planned to be back to basketball by 2019. Oh my God, you guys. I feel so bad. I mean... This young man, I know for sure, this is a sweet little young guy, for sure. You can just tell from how they portray him on TV. They can only portray you in so many ways. You have to actually be that way. He's a sweet little guy. I wouldn't want this happening to my son. I feel really bad for Shawnee. And I'm truly wondering if this is going to be part of Basketball Wives season what? Eight? Seven? Whatever. Are we going to get to see inside of Shawnee's actual life? Or is this going to be on Shawnee's home court or something? Because I am like truly sitting here going through the motions about this whole thing. All right, let me jump into world news since we are talking about people and their children. Now this story is a little bit different. there is a mom okay and she actually was convicted for putting her two children in the freaking oven okay this woman's name is this woman was featured all on Fox and stuff um Jamil Penn is the father and I believe the woman's name let's see They actually put a dozen charges against her. There it is, Lamora Williams. Lamora Williams and the dad's name was Jamil Penn. I was about to call her Jamil Penn and I didn't want to get it wrong. So there it is. Her name is Lamora Williams, people, and she is the woman who actually put her kids in the damn oven. Okay, now I'm going to really quickly play the 911 call for you guys. Listen up really quickly and I will be back. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I have, a, I have a question if this is a serious matter. Um, I just left um my cousin in the house with the with my kids. Um, she just left my kids in the house when I came back from work, and my kids, two of my kids are dead. 
guarantee. And make sure you like, 